A major change to a downtown school, removing Ryerson, its namesake associated with a racist past. After months of debate, tonight the university officially has a new name. Good evening. How does Toronto Metropolitan University sound? The school's Board of Governors approved the move today, saying it's effective immediately. The very decision to remove Ryerson generated plenty of discussion, and this new name is certainly doing the same. CTV Scott Lightfoot is on the campus and joins us live with reaction. Scott. Well, Nathan, the committee tasked with choosing a new name for this school says they considered more than 2,600 possible names. They settled on Toronto. Wait, now I've lost it. Toronto Metropolitan University rolls right off the tongue, doesn't it? The school says it's the right name for the school going forward. Students we talked to today, not so sure. Since 1948, it has been the name of an educational institution in the heart of this city. But as of today, Ryerson University is no more. This is a, an exciting moment for us and for the history of our university. Uh, we are entering a new chapter in our history, moving forward with a name. That name, announced by the school today, is Toronto Metropolitan University. Might uh, be a bit of a tongue twister. This first-year business tech management student wasn't thrilled with the new name. It's a wordy name. I think they could have gone in a different direction, possibly. The direction came after a task force made 22 recommendations to the school to help it address the legacy of its namesake, Egerton Ryerson, and his ties to the residential school system. <laughs> Among them, the removal of a statue on campus that was torn down by protesters. The task force also called for the school to change its name. It's definitely a step in the right direction. We're away from Ryerson, but... TMU sounds, I don't know, I don't know how to feel about it. I think they could have got, I don't know, it just doesn't sound right. Today it was a topic of conversation on campus. It's, it's, it's not the best. They could have done better. I low-key think it's kind of embarrassing. I don't mind the abbreviation, actually, because like TMU is kind of like, okay, yeah, TMU, but then when you hear the full meaning, it sounds like... It sounds a bus stop. Yeah, it sounds like a bus stop. A bus stop. Make an X. Even X sounded a little cool, you know? But like, please just change it. It's not a good name. Some students and staff had taken to referring to the school as X University, a placeholder, until a new name was chosen. Every name begins as a possibility. In unveiling the new name, the school says it believes Metropolitan is representative of both its role as a downtown gathering place for people from all over the world and its aspirations to expand its reach. Now the process of changing over the signage will begin, so too will the acceptance for these students that they no longer attend Ryerson, but rather Toronto Metropolitan University. I don't know. It's a good change, but also kind of a hard one to take in. Toronto Metropolitan University, Toronto Metropolitan, I'll get it, Toronto Metropolitan University. The school says the name will officially be changed after the election. The government has to make that change, and they say that any alumni wants to have their degree or diploma reprinted with the new name can do so. Reporting live on the campus of Toronto Metropolitan University, I'm Scott Lightfoot. Nathan and Michelle, back to you. Thank you, Scott.